Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about what happens and what should you do when you have a new, rapid, sudden onset of pain, either months or years after having knee replacement surgery. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, so you can watch all of our videos related to knee replacement surgery, rehab, recovery, management of having a knee replacement surgery and life with knee replacement surgery, and much more. So, first of all, let's talk about what can cause this to occur, this new onset of significant pain or new pain that doesn't seem to subside, that you can't get it to calm down with regular activities, regular pain management strategies. What are possibly some of the causes of, it, uh, causes of this? So one of them is possibly loosening of your implant, of your prosthetic components. Another one is the possibility of an infection in the knee, which can subsequently cause some loosening. There's the risk of a fracture to the knee or the bones of the, around the knee joint or um, within the components of the implant, as well as some issues with alignment and fit of your knee replacement. So I always like to talk to people and you know, if someone comes in for a consultation for physical therapy and is talking to me and telling me about this sudden new onset of pain, I like to get some descriptors and kind of understand what's going on a little bit better. So some things I'll ask is, was there a certain incident or something that preceded this pain? So did you, you know, kind of, did you have a fall? Did you twist real awkwardly when you were out doing lawn work or walking up the stairs or something like that. How intense is your pain? Does it stay at this intensity? Does it fluctuate in intensity? Are there things that you do that tend to aggravate that pain? Are there things that you can do that tend to alleviate that pain? Where exactly is it? Is it throughout the whole knee joint? Is it on the side, the middle part, right uh, um, along the kneecap? And just kind of give me some descriptors. How would you describe the pain? Is it achy? Is it burning? Pins and needles? Tingling? Is it sharp? Is it dull? This all gives me kind of a better idea of, you know, what are we dealing with? Is it something that is a red flag? Something serious that we have to get in touch with the doctor and we should address and check out to make sure it's not something like a fracture, not something like a loosening or a failure of the prosthetic? Or is it something else? And a lot of times it might be just something else, like a muscle strain or a tendinopathy, something going on with the tendons around the knee. Maybe it's some sort of patella femoral pain or that, that kneecap um, front of the knee pain that we can address with some conservative management strategies. Now, when in doubt, of course, we want to reach out to the doctor's office, get that imaging, um, get that further testing if appropriate. But a lot of times it may be something we can manage conservatively. Something I always like to say, if this pain persists, if it pers persists more than a day or a few days and stays at this really significant, severe, debilitating level, then, you know, it's really important to contact the doctor. Contact your surgeon's office, see what we can figure out, make sure that it's not something serious. And again, I say don't be surprised either way. Sometimes it is something serious, something that there's a loosening, there's a failure of the replacement, there's an infection, and we gotta get that managed and taken care of medically. But also sometimes there's an x-ray is taken or imaging is done and the knee lo looks perfectly fine. And it just is a matter of some conservative management strategies, physical therapy, pain management strategies. Um, pain, I like to say this in many of my videos, pain is very complex. There's a lot of different factors and things that play a role in your pain experience. And so the implant might be com completely fine, but there might be something else that we have to address and take a closer look at. So again, pain can be multifactorial, can be a little tricky sometimes, so it's always important to kind of take a closer look, ask those appropriate questions. Maybe it's a conservative treatment approach, physical therapy, pain management strategies at home, Maybe it's something we have to get into consultation and discussion with your doctor and your surgeon's office. I hope this was insightful and helpful for you. As always, please leave your likes if you found this helpful. 
Again, leave your comments, your questions below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching.